I, Tonya, was a great job for us here at 8VFX. We were able to work in the 8VFX New York office, led by our creative director, Jean-Marc Demmer. He put a fantastic team together, and what we were able to do was build stadiums and do face replacement on Margot. My role was to, you know, just to take care about all the visual effects we needed to do for this movie, to make sure like everything was going good and going right with the budget we have and all the effect we have to accomplish for, for this uh, movie. In all respects, this was a kind of a blissful film experience because we did do it independently. We had a lot of freedom, a lot of creative control. And I've had a long history with John Mark, like with commercials, so we have a, a great shorthand. And that's why I really wanted to bring him in on this. I knew it was really demanding, it was going to be a tough schedule, and he could do it. For the face replacement, there was different idea. Like Craig wanted to have this camera really handheld, moving, be free to move and going from something really close to her to something really wide where she's doing all the, the different figure uh, skating. We had Margot, which was amazing. She was so diligent and she trained five days a week for five months. And her with her skating coach, figured out like how much they could do and I was amazed and she'd go out and she'd do like 30 40 seconds of it and I was kind of astounded that she could pull it off. We needed to combine different techniques. When she's getting really close and we were doing some traditional face replacement which is like a more 2D approach where we quickly line up the shots and say okay let's shoot this head really quickly on a blue screen, let's shoot Margot on a blue screen quickly and try to figure out the, the positioning of the head and the other approach was to go into a full CG head replacement. So what we did was we set up a small studio on location to scan Margot Robbie's face and give us the overall head model with textures and expressions. We then took that data into Maya and used the scan to build the final CG model with four different makeup looks. So I knew if I have these two techniques, somewhere we will be able to make it work. On the shoot, we set up six witness cameras synced to the time code of the 35mm camera, which allowed us to have an accurate position of Margot Robbie in every shot in each stadium. It really freed up the work, and then the great thing with, with Eight Effects is we're seeing the world, I and mean, we're doing these shots that are, you know, I think there's one shot that it's three shots stitched together, ends up being like two and a half minutes. That is non-stop and seeing everything. As with sound or music, when effects actually start coming in and, and you start to really see the movie and not just what you hope the movie's gonna be, and it just becomes alive. It's such a difference. A full stadium is very different than an empty stadium <laughs> and the actual actress's face on her body is very different than somebody else with a little orange ball on top. So the challenge of pulling off all of this amount of work in three months really challenged us. Our expertise with Pipeline and our long-standing relationship with Craig Gillespie meant that we were able to pull it off. It went like clockwork. Got them the shots, came in and made very few notes, and you know, once we established the look, they ran with it. It was actually one of my least stressful parts of the process. It was a great experience, a really, really, really great experience for, to work with Craig, to work with Tanya, also the, the editor. We were really close. The communication uh, between us was really good, and the way we approached this work was really good, so it was a real pleasure to work on this movie.